Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Forex, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to save and manage multiple workspaces on the C Trader platform. Now, before I do proceed to the tutorial, I would like to mention that if you're looking for a new Forex trading platform, you're a new trader and you're looking to get started, or you're just looking to spice things up and try out a new trading platform, feel free to follow the link provided in the very beginning and at the very end of the video. This same link will also be provided down in the description below. And the link in the description can be clicked on, which will directly bring you to a demo signup page for C Trader. So go ahead and fill out that form and begin trying C Trader for absolutely free. So now onto the video, like I mentioned, I'll be showing you how to save and essentially manage your workspaces on this platform. Now, workspaces are a great solution for those traders that intend to trade multiple contracts, but unfortunately don't have multiple monitors. It's a good way to efficiently swap back and forth between contracts and different charts in which you're analyzing. That way you can have a multiple layouts for all the different instruments you intend to trade. Now, either way, workspaces are great for even those traders that do use multiple monitors it's always good to save your work and remain organized. So for those of you that are interested, if you'd like to create a new workspace or would like to just save the current one you are currently working on, you can head up into the top right hand corner of the platform. It's next to the default layout button. As you can see, there is a tab named my workspace. This should be the default workspace. And as you can see, I've actually added a workspace already. Just to show you if you ever need to delete a workspace on your platform, you can do so by hovering over and clicking delete. This will ask you to remove, it will give you a confirmation window. Simply click yes. And as you can see, my new workspace has been removed. So as you can see, we are currently working on the default layout, but you may wanna change things up. There are a bunch of charts here on my screen currently. So let's say we only wanna work with one chart at a time. We can simply close out all the available charts here. And now we're left with one chart. Now for many users, if you are using multiple monitors, a nice method would be to pop this out of the trading screen here and to throw it onto another monitor. But like I said, not everybody does have the luxury of trading with multiple monitors and a workspace may be a better solution for you. So as you can see, we do have the British pound compared to the US dollar here. So maybe I wanna save my workspace to something accordingly. So I'll name my workspace GBP USD. We'll make sure to need to be in the text box here when typing so it does register our keyboard strokes. And as you can see, we have our name entered and we can click save. So now this will save it to the current workspace we have. As you can see, if we hop back to my workspace now, it will load up that default screen as we originally had it or whatever we had saved last. So let's say for example, now we need a workspace for the Aussie dollar versus the US. Again, I can close out my charts that I currently have applied here. It's also worth mentioning that any adjustments you do make on a chart should be saved in your workspace as well. So if you are the type of trader to use analytical tools or different indicators on your charts and need to save them for later, this is a good method for you as well. So we have our chart open. Again, we just pulled down that drop down window. Click on save workspace. Again, make sure you click the text box here to get it activated and then we'll type in our chart or our text name. Once we click save, as you can see, we now have three different workspaces and we can swap back and forth as we need. So I just clicked on the Britain pound versus US dollar, that swapped over. Clicking back to our Aussie dollar now, as you can see, it opens up our chart extremely quick and it saved everything on our chart. As you can see, I did draw an arrow and a diagonal line. And again, it's saved. So whenever you do need to go back in there, just make sure you click on save workspace, you drop it down. And then as you can see, you can save whatever changes you've applied to that workspace by simply clicking on the save button. If you need to create a new one, just again, 
pull it down. Once you see that text box, you'll type something in and then click save, which will add the workspace and save whatever progress you've made. 